Hey everyone and welcome back to Six Ashes for part two of our Let's Play series. So in the last episode we got some lime spread, fertilizer spread on a couple of our fields and then we managed to get one field plowed before we run out of time. I did get field 24 all plowed up uh, so that is now all finished and done. So what we're going to do today is we're going to continue with the field work. We're now into mid spring and we can get our crops planted or our barley and canola. So what we'll do is we're going to yeah, we're going to have to do some cultivating. I've been going over all different seed drills and uh, different options for drilling. I was hoping to get a direct drill that also does fertilize so we can do the three jobs in one uh, unfortunately that's proving a bit tricky um, unless we go for something like a three meter uh, drill and as we need to cultivate our corn fields or fields that we can do corn in um, I decided the drill we're going to do doesn't do fertilizer or uh, a direct drill but it is six meter wide uh, it's fairly cheap as well and it's going to be easy to get into fields like transport down the lanes a lot of the drills are looking at a four meter fixed which I think are going to be a little too wide for some of the roads uh, to get access into fields so what we're going to do first is head up to field 47 and we're going to get some fertilizer spread on that and then we can go and pick up a cultivator and get field 47, 77 and 78 cultivated uh, we're going to do barley in field 47 and then we're going to do field 77 and 78 as canola so we'll have the two canola fields and the one barley and then all our other four fields we'll do as corn uh, the pigs require uh, it's roughly two parts corn to one part wheat or barley one part canola, uh, sunflowers or soybeans. So we just swing around this way and our entrance to the field is just here. Yeah so for every 1000 litres of corn the pigs require you need 500 litres of wheat or barley and then 500 litres of canola, sunflowers or soybeans. So yeah apologies is still a little bit dark as we only come up to 10 to 7. I have changed the time down to times 6 uh, just to slow it down a little bit. So that times 10 was a little bit too fast. Uh, but this shouldn't take too long to do. I have also done uh, three fertilizing contracts after I finished plowing 24, field 24. Um, we need to complete those. I have done all the work but I haven't actually completed the contract to get the money yet. So as soon as we finish this field, we'll do that. I think they're worth just over £20,000. Uh, so that'll pay for the cultivator. I say then we'll get this field and 77, 78 cultivated. And then we can look again the seed drill and getting them drilled. the headland done and we'll just do the center of the field and then the other fields we can sort out when we come to plant them which looking at the the, the planting chart for uh, this season's geo we're using uh, late spring is the earliest we can do corn uh, but not sure whether the ground temperature will be high enough uh, we can still plant it but there's obviously that risk of uh, it not germinating properly so we'll wait until it's got a high enough ground temperature before we do put it in uh, just to be on the safe side as we're in no rush we've got till the end of uh, early summer to get the corn planted that's our last little bit 
to do on this build. So we'll just double check. So field 47 should now have two layers of fertilizer. Yep, uh, 77, 78 have also got two layers of fertilizer. So we can get those cultivated, get them drilled, and then they'll just all require one layer of fertilizer as we uh, roll into the hedge while I'm uh, looking at the map. So we'll head over to the the store. I'll go and drop off the the fertilizer spreader first. We'll head up to the store and then pick up our cultivator. Okay, so we've dropped off the spreader. That's back at the yard, and now we're up at the store to pick up our cultivator. Uh, before we just nip in and do that I'll just complete those three fertilizing contracts I did so I did the one 62 58 and 69 so we'll collect on those ah, there is a big one that, that's tempting field 8 21,819 we could definitely possibly look at those if we get time but I do want to get the cultivating done and get these crops planted today as our priority I really do want to get them done because looking at the forecast tomorrow looks like it's going to be a rainy day so best to try and get those done while we've got the weather in our favour so the cultivator I'm going to go for and give a try is in cultivators not discarrows that would help um, not that one if it's So yeah, we're going to try this one out. It's 140 horsepower, which is what 25 less than our tractor, 20, 25. So we shouldn't have too many problems pulling it. Has 10 mile an hour work speed as well, which is pretty good. It's only 20,000. So we'll leave it all as standard just to save a bit of money. So this is the all round of 500, which is available on the mod hub as pretty much most of the mods. I'm using in this series are uh, except a few like the enhanced vehicle mod which I've now installed uh, so thank you to the recommendation on that can't remember who it was so apologies for that but it was recommended on the comments for the last video um, it's an, a mod I've seen and kind of put off using or trying anyway um, the shuttle control would work better if I've got my steering wheel connected um, rather than using the controller because the weight changes over the you have to keep changing the direction of drive and then the accelerator is only the accelerator so if you want to reverse you have to accelerate not drive backwards with accelerate and brake and because it changes it round I get a bit confused so <laughs> until I get my wheel set up we'll uh, leave it off so we need to head down to field 47 first. Yeah, we'll do 40. No, no, actually, we'll do 78, 77, then 47, and then we can head back to the farm from 47. So kind of a lot work our way around. Um, I've also got the high fuel usage mod installed now. Uh, that's set to the low, so it's, I think it's 200% increased fuel usage. As we are, I think, yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll go and fuel up now as we're just driving past because we are half empty or half full, depending on which way you're looking at it. As we don't have any diesel back at the yard yet. And as we are driving past, we may as well fill up. So, yeah, the enhanced vehicle mod, uh, the higher fuel usage mod have both been installed. Uh, the enhanced vehicle mod is from Mod Hoster. I believe that is the official download for that. So we turn into here and this is our field 77 and then up this track we can get the entrance to field 78 which we'll do first. So we do also own these two, 
two shelters, barns. Um, just up here. Uh, this is all part of the land we bought those three fields together um, in the first episode. So we purchased these, so you get these two shelters. Might be useful for storing bales, I like straw bales, once we've done a harvest, save taking them all the way back to the yard. Uh, we can just put them in there until we need them. So I think while I've been having to think of what we can do and I'm really considering buying the honeypot allotment. It's going to pay for itself over a, probably a relatively short period of time. Uh, we're not going to need much for it. we we'll get a small water tanker to fill up the water on the greenhouses. And we can buy manure on pallets from the store for now until we start getting our own from the pigs. Uh, I think that will help as well go towards the loan repayments that we're making. So I definitely think it will be worth looking into buying that possibly today if we get time so we can get it up and running and start getting the income from that. The other option which is a little bit more pricey would be the fishery which also generates an hourly income. Uh, but I believe that's around about 80,000, so a little bit out of our price range currently, uh, but definitely an option in the future. Let me swing back around here and just finish off this pass, and then we'll just get the uh, middle of the field all done. So this is not the ideal way I wanted to do these crops, I would have preferred a direct drill. Um, so having that limit on the horsepower uh, does restrict us quite a bit. So until we can get enough money to get a second tractor, there's slightly more more horses under the uh, in the engine. And then we can start getting some uh, bigger equipment. I must remember enabling four-wheel drive with the enhanced vehicle <laughs> control mod is a, a, lot, a very beneficial when you're doing jobs like this. I've now switched it on, which has made a huge difference. So we've just got this tiny little bit left to do on this field, and then we'll move on to 77, and then down to field 47. I say this. I've really made short work of this. I think the other option I was looking at for a seed drill was a 3 meter uh, Vaderstad Rapid 300C, which does do everything and we can pull it with this. Uh, but I think just only being 3 meters would be a little bit slow and this might be a little bit quicker even though it's separate. Right, so we'll start off trying to think probably better to go across the field than going up and down the hill. So we start off this side. And go across. And we'll probably do the headland last on this field as it's a larger field that would be a bit easier to do. So the, if anybody's familiar with the advanced 
uh, vehicle mod. <laughs> Let me know. Is the green for the diff lock? Is that on or off? I'm not sure which way around it is. I think it's off, but when I was looking at the the description for us, it just gives you the key commands to switch it on and off, which is on the numpad seven and eight. But I'm not sure if the red is off or that's on. So anybody that does know, please let me know because I couldn't work it out uh, which way around they are. Okay, so last pass round this uh, end of the field and then we are all done in field 77 and 78 they're all ready for the canola which will be the crop we're doing these two then we need to go and do field 47 and get that ready then we can head over to the store to pick up our new cedar get those done um, hopefully we should be done fairly early with those jobs okay so field 47 is now all done I've dropped the cultivator back off at the yard so we can now pick up our new cedar and the one we're going to go for is the if we can find it the Cavernland Accord 6 meter so 18,100 to buy and then we'll do the canola first so we want a pallet of canola seed as so we are using the realistic cedar mod so we'll get the drill hooked up and Get it filled up with seed. So it takes fifteen hundred liters, which should be uh, plenty for what we need we'll, we'll have loads left over we probably won't even use what 20 percent of that uh, probably just over 20 percent so i so said we'll head up to field 78 first and get that done and then 77 then we'll get the seed switched over to the barley and get 47 done and that will be all our crops planted for today so we'll just have the corn left to do when we're ready for that so up at field 78 and now we need to get from this side so if we drop that off there I love the way they use the uh, the wood for a chock to uh, <laughs> support the front end it's quite a nice touch on the uh, on the mod so we back up to this uh, and get that connected attach the PTO don't think there's any hydraulics or electric cables to add get it unfolded 
and switched on. So say like six meter wide, which yeah, it's going to be a lot better than using a uh, three meter drill. So even though we've had to do that extra job of uh, cultivating first, I don't think that's too much of an issue. It didn't take too long, and um, this is you know pretty pretty fast as well. Has to make sure you put four wheel drive on while we're in the field. That'll help a bit. So yeah, this shouldn't take too long, and the fertilising these small fields with our fertiliser spreader, yeah, it it takes what a few a couple of minutes at most to do our field. So I think this is probably the best way we could have gone for uh, the limited tractor we've got at the moment. So coming up to half eleven now probably gonna be finished mid mid afternoon, so probably around about two, three o'clock we should be all done. And then what I think I might do is that if the fertilizing contract on field eight is still available, I'm going to do that and then we'll use that money that we get from that to buy the honey pot allotment. Buy ourselves a trailer so we can transport some new pallets and get us a little water bowser to fill up the water down there and then we can get those going and then next time we'll probably get our sprayer so we can get the uh, herbicide sprayed on these fields if need be and the final application of fertilizer as the sh crop should have got to the first grow stage by then and then probably looking at early summer for getting our corn planted. So we might do a bit of field prep ahead of then. Just to get the field cultivated, ready for the corn to be planted. Hey, yeah, we've used 3% of the canola so far. Probably not much more than 5% on this field total. So yeah, this that one pallet of canola is going to go a very long way. So if anybody has seen the uh, the new website for like, British Star Farming in Farm Simulator, it's fs-ukmodding.co.uk. There was a post on there by GB Modding saying there will be an update for uh, Six Ashes, adding in the uh, Maze Plus support and Maze Plus forage extension. I think it's only going to be available for the update through that website. I don't think he's submitting it to Giants. So definitely something possibly look at adding to this map when it's released. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for the website if I remember. So you can go and check that out. There's quite a few well-known modders on there. Uh, like members of the team and uh, associates of the site. Oxygen David, Bullet Bill, uh, GB Modding, MJ Modding, uh, Nathan that did Meadow Grove. As many, <laughs> there's many more as well. I can't remember all the names. So apologies if I've missed you out. <laughs> yeah, it's well worth checking out. Uh, keep up to date with any mods in progress, maps, um, updates. And uh, stuff like that, so that's very uh, interesting stuff on there, and still early days for it. 
so well worth checking out so that is field 77 78 sorry all done so we are all now yellow for planted and all green for canola so we'll get 78 done if we can fit through the hedge with the uh, drill on I think we'll pretty much do the same as we do with the cultivator and work kind of across the field uh, work our way down and then finish off with the headlands so we start off in this corner So also one good thing about having a three point mounted uh, drill is it's a lot easier to turn on the headlands than using the trailed one. Especially some of the smaller trailed uh, drills and stuff. Uh, they are they do require quite a little bit of manoeuvring around because it's uh, very difficult to get the tight turns for the the rows. So this definitely is a uh, probably going to save quite a lot of time just on turning at the headlands as well as having the, the whip so in combination with the 6 meter cultivator I think we are far better off with this setup than using something like a 3 meter seed drill despite the fact it would fertilize and cultivate or direct drill at the same time Okay, so last little bit to do on field 78 and that's all our canola done we can then go and unload the canola seed from the drill and get the barley loaded in and then we'll get field 47 all done so we'll switch that off we'll just park this up uh, around here let's unfold it first see which way around we need to be need to be around that way so I'm gonna go and nope why did it unfold itself can you not lower this down okay it's a bit uh why can I not there we go <laughs> can't get it to disconnect um, yeah, I'll go and get the canola seed unloaded. Uh, probably, yeah, probably just do it at the store for now, and then we'll uh, get the barley. I'll go and get field 47 doing, and then we can look at doing that contract. So it's got quarter past one now. So we should have plenty of time left in the day to go and do that contract on field 8. Uh, it shouldn't take too long and that's worth 20,000. Uh, we'll use that money to get the allotment and uh, trailer and stuff we need for that. Uh, we can get all that set up so we can start generating the money from that. Uh, that should help out towards paying the loan, uh, making the loan repayments once it's paid itself off. Okay, so we're just on our way back to the yard. Field 47 is all done with the barley. So we'll get the seed drill dropped off 
I've taken on the contract for fertilizing field 8 so we'll get the, uh, the spreader hooked up and we'll go up there and get that done and then we'll uh, sort out the stuff we need for the allotment and get that bought today so we need to try and find somewhere to put this uh, drill I think in this shed here will be the best place if we can get it in which probably isn't going to be easy if we can we need to come down just a little bit more there we go should be able to get that in on that far side if we can get it in that corner as close as we can there we go I think that will do lovely so we'll get that dropped off and we'll get our spreader hooked back up not sure how much fertiliser we've got left in after uh, doing field 47 this morning so we may head via the store so the PTO on and then the electrics for the lights yeah so we've got 44% I don't think that will be enough to get all of field 8 done uh, so we'll head via the store ok so we're up at Field 8, a lovely huge field of potatoes. So, yeah, not ideal uh, driving across the uh, ridges in this way. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> we'll get this done. I think there was a uh, the contract for planting the potatoes came up while I was doing the other fertilising contracts and it was worth 87000 to do. Uh, I was tempted by it but I thought yeah, I'll probably take a few hours. So maybe in the future, I think the contract on field 9 which is also potatoes as well was 57000 uh, and there's not much difference between the sizes of these fields field 8 is 11.99 hectares and field 9 is 10.6 I think so only about a hectare and a half difference for what just over 30,000 pound extra for doing field 8 so probably definitely worth the uh, time if you've got to do it I just couldn't put that much time into doing one contract I would have to do so much of it off camera. Uh, yeah, it probably wouldn't leave me much time to get anything else done. Uh, but it would have been a very uh, nice amount of money to get for doing a contract. I mean, 20,000, what is it? Yeah, 21,819 for doing the fertilising is a very good uh, amount for how long it will take. So definitely worth doing. I think I've worked out the contracts that were left from last time. If I'd have gone round and done all the others, we would have got around 60,000 in total. Now I didn't have time to go and do every single fertilising contract. I definitely don't want to go around doing every single one in a video. I think that'd be a bit too much. So just coming down this end of the field going across by fields four and six so we're there just over in the background we've got the Udder dairy farm which is the big dairy farm on the map I don't think we'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to afford to buy that I think it's just over a million pound uh, it does come with quite a lot of land so these big grass pastures and quite a big farmyard as well but yeah I think that's definitely something we probably won't get the uh, the money to buy unless we like sell off some of our land and the farmyard we own in the future to put the money towards it but I do think that I think it's the CJ farms is just 
just under 450,000 to buy I think that's definitely something that could possibly look at uh, buying in the future um, then getting a slightly bigger yard with cows and sheep at that one as well so we'll have pigs, cows and sheep and also a bigger yard to store some big, bigger equipment in a bit more space as well so that one is definitely something we could uh, aim for to expand the farm in the future uh, the other option is the Black Acres farm not sure what's at that farm if there are any animal pastures so the animal pastures don't show up until we actually buy the land um, I can't remember if I've went down there to have a look to see what pastures are actually there so there may be sheep and cows there or just sheep I'm not sure, I think CJ Farms also has a chicken pen chickens definitely something we could look at for our current farm There's definitely we've got a little bit of space where we could get a small chicken coop uh, built and then start getting some eggs for a bit of extra money so that's another option we've got for generating income for the farm ok so we're about 65% yeah, 65% done uh, we are rapidly running out of fertiliser so we are definitely going to have to head back to the store to get another pallet as I say this is a fairly big field probably the biggest field on the map so it has taken a fair bit of fertiliser so 180 litres left we might just finish this pass that will probably take us up to around 70% done so we won't need to use the full pallet uh, so we'll probably use a third of it I'd say we're probably looking around you know, £4,000 worth of fertiliser that we've had to buy to get this one done so we have to deduct that from the total price so we're still going to make around probably 17000 from this contract we may as well just use this last 37 litres So that's us empty. So we'll go and uh, yeah, seventy percent exactly. We'll go and uh, get the other fertilizer pallet and get this finished off. Uh, we've just come past ten past five, so we are starting to get into the uh, early evening. And we still have a bit of work to do, getting the honey pot allotment and getting the equipment down there to fill up the water manure before we uh, finish up for today right so we're currently around about 95% done on this contract so not much more to do uh, we can get this completed and then we can uh, go and buy the stuff we need to get the water and manure sorted at the greenhouses so I reckon we're probably around about 98% done yep so final 2% we've got a little bit of fertiliser left at the store so I'm going to head straight to the store after finishing this rather than drop off the spreader now we'll leave that there and then I'll get that all sorted back after we've finished recording and before the next episode so there's contract 8 finished so that's 21,819 minus the fertiliser we've had to buy so I reckon around about 17,000 we've made off that so we'll head back down to the store uh, we'll get ourselves the front loader, pallet fork, trailer a few pallets of manure and then a water bowser and we'll get all that down to the honey pot allotments buy that and get the water and manure topped up on there so we can start getting the extra income from that okay so we're back down at the store we'll just put the rest of this fertilizer in the spreader so we do need to get a few of these pallets moved as well two pallets of barley seed left and then uh, no, two pallets of canola seed I need to lower that down first 
and also uh, a last bit of the barley as well. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't, when I unloaded this, I couldn't fit enough in the, the drill to unload it on one pallet so we ended up with a partial pallet and then uh, even less of a partial pallet. Alright so we need a front loader and we'll just get the standard FZ60 keep it standard colours pallet fork I'm gonna go with okay I didn't realise there was a special pallet fork for that I think that'll only work with the pallets for the cedar not sure if it'll work with all pallets could possibly try it. We can always return it if it doesn't work with all pallets. Uh, we need uh, manure. We'll get, we'll just get the two pallets for now uh, then we can fit the the other pallets on the trailer. Uh, right, baling technology. So we want a flatbed something preferably cheap. Uh, we've got the Marshall which is 11,000 which I've used before and I've found it to be a little bit unsteady. It seems to sway around quite a bit from side to side. Uh, the other one is the, never know how exactly how to pronounce this, it's the Brohan or <laughs> Brown. <laughs> yeah. Never hundred percent sure on the exact pronunciation of that. Uh, this is fourteen thousand two hundred fifty for standard. Uh, we've got the twenty foot refurbished flatbed lizard from 4D modding. Looks very old and rustic, not very <laughs> refurbished. A few holes in those slats. Uh, but that is the cheapest option, eight thousand two fifty. Uh, Richard Weston fourteen. I think I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Uh, possibly just change the colour to uh, blue. Keep it green. I'll go red. How much is uh, 385? It's not bad for an extra. Color. I think we'll go with the uh, is that New Holland blue. So we'll go UK reg as we're in the UK. Design. We'll just keep it standard for now. So that's fourteen six fifty. Uh, we could have gone with the cheaper lizard one. Well, I think then we'd end up probably upgrading pretty quick to a slightly bigger one. Uh, water. So we need animals. Uh, Aquatrans, I don't think we need something that big at the moment. Uh, when we do get pigs we've got the animal e pen extension mod for filling up the water. Uh, so I think this one will be perfect. The water 2000 from Lizard also does milk, but not that we need milk. Uh, only 500 for 2000 litre capacity. So that will be perfect for our needs. Turn the engine off. Uh, we need to lower the front weight down, drop that off. And then we can get our front loader attached. Now see if these pallet forks work on the manure pallets as well whether it is just the, uh, the pallets from the realistic cedar mod. So we'll try these first and see how we get on. If not we'll have to uh, return them and yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Okay, so it does seem to work with those pallets as well. Not sure if it's actually any beneficial than using standard pallet forks or not. 
Oh. These manure pallets are heavy. Actually, uh, I do with a weight on the back lifting these up. Oh, drop that one down. And um, we'll get the next one on. I'll get the rest of the, the pallets all loaded up. And then uh, I may put the water trailer on the back of this trailer as well so we can take it all in one go. Save coming back up to the uh, store for that. Okay, so we are just coming up to the sawmill for the entrance into uh, where our fields are and honey pot allotments. So I've managed to get the uh, water trailer on the back of our trailer and the rest of the seed pallets and the two manure pallets. The only thing we've got left at the store is the front weight and the fertiliser spreader which will well, I'll get back from from there uh, before the next episode, so we've got nothing left up there. So here we are, honey pot allotments. We will need to go and get water from the main farm. I'm not sure if we can fill up in the little stream. So we've got what's that? eight beehives that will generate uh, money each hour. So we'll generate some money from the beehives. You can see a few bees. And then if we add water and manure, manure goes in this pit and then the water at the water tank here for the greenhouses. So I think there's two tomato and two lettuce. So we'll get a, should get a reasonable amount. I say it shouldn't take too long for it to pay itself off. Uh, we need to disconnect the trailer. our work lights on because we are quarter to eight in the evening it's starting to get dark so let's see if we can get this off without knocking everything else off yeah these manure pallets are extremely heavy I think we'll need to take it off that. Okay, so, oh yeah, it would help if we actually uh, <laughs> bought the land first. Wondering why is that not working? Yeah, trying to get money for nothing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so 11,270. We'll buy that. I think that's a very, very uh, good investment. The greenhouses won't actually start earning income into a full water up. So we need water minimum and then the manure gives us that extra bit of income. We might as well do the manure pallets first and then we'll go and sort the water out. What are we stuck on? There we go. I don't know what was stopping that. So I think two pallets might be enough. I'm not 100% sure how much it takes. It looks like it's going to take all of it. Not 200 litres left. So that's 4,000 litres to fill up the manure. I'm not. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, for when we need to uh, top that up, we'll keep an eye on it. So as long as we make sure we keep the manure and water topped up, we should uh, make a nice bit of income from from this. We'll get this hook back up. I'll get this back to the uh, to the farm. I'll get the water trailer filled up, and then we'll get the water topped up up there, and then. 
think that will do for today. And we've uh, made a, a bit of progress. We've got some fertilizer spread and a contract, three fields cultivated, and then the two fields of canola and one field of barley uh, sown. To be uh, careful through there. So what I may do is, before next time, I may do a couple of the other fertilizing contracts that are available, just to get a little bit of extra money. And uh, I think next time we'll be looking at getting our sprayer and getting some herbicide on our fields. No doubt we'll have some weed, weed show up pretty soon. So we're going to have to start dealing with those. And also we'll probably need to get the next round of fertilizer on field 47. Uh, possibly some prep work on the other fields then ready for the corn to be planted in early summer. Right, so we've got the water, or the IBC water trailer topped up. I come back up in the Land Rover, so he's bringing the uh, tractor back up here. So last job for today is just to get the water filled up. And then that's us all done. So it's starting to get really dark now, as we are approaching half past eight in the evening. Still only mid-spring, so the days are still lengthening as we approach summer. So one thing I must remember to do as well before we finish is pay the next instalment on our loan. So we'll get the water done first. So we've got some nice lettuces, I don't think we can go in these greenhouses, and some tomatoes. Alright, so last thing to do today, we'll pay off the next 10,000 of our loan. I'll take us down to 480,000 on that. And yeah, so we are making a, <laughs> a small amount of return to it, but at least we are paying it off. And we'll leave it there for today. So we're going to go and rest up for the night, so I'll probably do a couple of these contracts just to get a bit of extra money for the next episode. Uh, we'll be in late spring, as I get a bit of field work done, possibly prepping and dealing with weeds. So hope you've enjoyed the episode, if you have then please don't forget to hit the like button. And thank you very much for watching, I'll see you all in the next one, thank you again, goodbye.